sure Donald shot through my house. I'm in Hell's Canyon. And we're getting some railroad ties for Donald. He's gonna use that to build a cattle chute. It about, about lifts the tires off, <laughs> off the ground behind this truck. All the weight is in the back of the trailer. So it's just dumping it back.
All right, so today we're working on my uh, 2013 Arctic Cat. It's the 1000X. It's it's the big one. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was driving down the road, heading down to the neighbors, and halfway down the hill, I shredded my drive belt. So I went ahead, went on Amazon, and got another drive belt. If you'd like, I'll go ahead. I'll post a link in the description for this this same belt here. Um, it's, it's it's Gator Gator G Force. Um, I got it shipped to me next day for like 90 bucks, maybe it's 95 bucks, extra five bucks for next day shipping off of Amazon. And uh, now I'm gonna tear this thing apart and show you how to install, install that drive belt. It's always a good rule to go ahead and use jack stands as more of a safety measure. But the other nice thing is this is um, this rapid response clutch case is coming off. That's where the belt is. And I'm gonna need as much room as I can to work in here to jimmy that off to get that out of the way. So what I'm gonna do is we take the tire off, we're gonna drop the shock, but I don't have the jack here now. So I moved the jack back, it's just sitting just on jack stands and it gives us so much more room. Uh, whenever, whenever I use jack stands, it just, it makes me think of this really funny story. So one time there was uh, me and another buddy uh, decided to mess with our one friend. He was not very mechanically inclined. So we jacked his truck up and put jack stands under his truck and we lowered it just enough so the tires were, were just off the ground, a little bit. Uh, very early in the morning, he gets up, he goes to work and he's out there, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> the tires just spinning. He didn't realize his truck was on jack stands. So finally he got out and he's seen it but he didn't know how to fix it. He didn't know how to get it off. <laughs> so he locked it in four while driving, drove it all off the jack stands. <laughs> Threw my jack stands out in the street and left. <laughs> it took him, uh, the neighbor told me she was watching out the window. It took him five, 10 minutes to realize <laughs> his truck was on jack stands. 17. tight. Sounds like Daniel's coming up the driveway. Well, that gun's gonna do it. Maybe if I put a new battery on it. Can't see what it's connected to over there. The really cool thing about these Arctic Cats is you can get these manuals. You can download them online for free. I don't know if that's every model of Arctic Cat, but at least for this model, um, I couldn't actually find a printed copy. I'd rather just pay the money for the printed copy, but I couldn't find it. But it tells you, you know, how to do the whole service on here. So I'm gonna look at this and look at the button. You have to do some brake pads and check the uh, differential fluid. And all. I'm not doing that today. Right now, I want to get to where I can drive it and move it around. Huh? The race is coming on soon. Now 
this here's the bracket for the air box that's going to come out and i know this hasn't been serviced in forever because that's the air filter it's pretty gnarly nasty i don't know if i want to clean it or just put another one in i'm thinking about just putting another one in all right so that bracket we'll take this one and this one out and that one there If you look, there's a couple spots where I marked white with some of this, uh, I don't know, it's some kind of chalk that I use for the cutting torch. Uh, yeah, that's the mark. Some of the bolts are a little bit longer than others, so just keep track of that. And I uh, get this stupid breather out of the way. Breather, hardly even newer. Let me see what I can do here. There's a little bit of uh, the old belt in there. Look at that, this gasket's still in good condition yet. Now, there's no oil or anything that runs through here. The only reason that it's sealed off is to keep water out. So you can, that gasket is in such good condition that I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm gonna reuse that gasket. There's nothing wrong with it. I got lucky. But anyway, that's the, uh, this is gonna get all cleaned out. Yeah, it's all stuck up in there. Um, who knows how badly it's wrapped. It's, it's shredded. You can see there's piles of this stuff. When, when these things go, there's there's no holding back. Yeah, so this is the next one. This, this piece comes off. Once that's off, I'll be able to clean the rest of this, this junk out. And I'll be able to put that belt on. This is the rapid response clutch right here. All right, so I ended this bolt. Now, the nice thing about filming is, if you forgot how you took something apart, you can watch your videos learn how to put them back together. Uh, but just keep in mind, bear in mind how everything comes apart. Big washer, there's a thin washer in there. And then this part comes off. And uh, that's pretty beat up, isn't it? Hopefully I can try to clean that up. I don't know what I want to do. I'm gonna try to, I'll have to read online a little bit. I might want to sand that down. Exactly. And then here's the old belt. Yeah, that's wrapped up pretty good. And we'll just uh, come up and around and sit in there like that. All right, so these belts are supposed to be directional belts, but um, mine doesn't have any directional arrows pointed on it, but I'm just going to go, if you look, you see how there's writing on there? I'm going to guess it goes this way. Oh, that's the only indicator that I have. Uh -huh. You want to make sure your belt doesn't get pinched in there, but rather it's just laying in there. See how I can move it all around? That means it's just laying right in there. And then make sure your washer's in the correct order. <laughs> Keep that skull, baby. I'll dip skull. i dip grizzly. So if anybody like wants to be generous and be like, hey, y'all want to donate? Get me a bunch of grizzly. Straight. Long cut. Ask trees. Oh, I don't want to go into that. All right. You know what? We're going to tighten up the big impactor a little bit here first. I ain't doing that all day. Huh? Like the freaking tire I don't want to get into it. <laughs> I'm gonna put these shocks on the Toyota if you don't mind. No. <laughs> I do mind. 
Oh, here you go. There you go. That's 60. Yep. You always click it twice. Yep. It's hard doing this when you're stupid. Hey, it's great to be here. This is our hometown track. It's eight miles from my house. I love this place. I Ugh. Not Michigan. Horrible place. Oh. At least they don't have to have an inspection stickers on their vehicle. I don't know. Probably not. It's probably why Tommy Gunn lives there. <laughs> Oh yeah, you don't have to. The worst part of it is trying to get that gasket in there. This is a weird technology. Mm -hmm. Anybody guess? Did I already do this one? It's an assault. Yeah, you just did that. Shut up. It's an assault action. <laughs> there you there go. You go. <laughs> Wait, hold on, I got this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just did this one. <laughs> I like this torque wrench you brought me, Zay. I might just have to keep it. Huh. Alright, well. I just let it? Dad know where it's at. Yeah, this ain't <laughs> All right. D down to 36, it said. Very cool. Wow, that's like finger tight. What's the torque specs on this? They were on it pretty tight. Yeah, we just put the tire on. Now we're going to get the jack under there, get the jack sand out. And it's either going to work or it's just going to shred that belt right away again. Well, what do we think? We're going to try it? Yeah, I guess so. Zay brought me the torque wrenches. He's my hero. <laughs> you just brought a really good right. tire here to Michigan, but it's a little right, bit hard. Right. It's real durable. <laughs> you got to have something like that to run 221 mile an hour. Let it warm up for a minute. You need a bigger cup on it. Yes. Well, there goes nothing. We'll just have to break it in a little bit. All right. 